okay in this session we are going to learn how to generate the clock in different styles using verilog how to generate the clock in different styles using verilog hdl before going to that we'll see what is the importance of clock in digital electronics importance of clock in digital electronics in digital electronics mainly in sequential systems there may be several things going on at the same time so we need some timing or clocking mechanism so as to decide when the output is going to change that means at which point the time things will change there are several stages in a circuit and each of these stages will have to take an input from previous state and process it and given an output they cannot work at random if they work at random some of them will work faster and some of them will work slower that means there is some mismatch in the timing so so we are trying to synchronize the working all the subsystems in a sequential system by using a clock therefore clock is used to bring some regularity to the system that is the importance of clock in the digital electronics now we'll see how to generate the clock in different styles using verilog first we'll see clock generation using always block next clock generation using repeat next clock generation using forever forever now we'll see how to generate the clock using always block generation of clock using always we are commenting this line and first we have to create one module with some name generation of clock and we have to declare the clock and i am taking number of clock cycles number of clock cycles no initial i'm initializing the clock value with the zero clock is equal to 0 and number of clock number of clocks is equal to 0 and when we are using multiple statements within the begin and then we have uh, within the procedural blocks then we have to include begin and next always block here i am taking clock period as 10, 10 period 10 time units so each clock must have 10 time units that means half clock will have 5 time units i'm taking the delay of 5 time units so hash five clock is equal to not clock and i'm taking always and postage of clock just to count number of clock cycles number of clock cycles here it will clock it will count number of clock cycles and another initial block i am considering to display the values I'm considering the monitor here to display every change of within every change of the value. And at 
hundred time hundred time delay, and I want to display number of clock cycles. So number of clock cycles. It is just mandatory. Dollar finish to terminate the execution at hundred time units and and module. Now we'll see how the simulation result. See here using always block. We are generating the clock here. Initially, the clock is zero, and every clock has ten units delay. The time period is ten units because here we are considering as five. That's why the clock time delay is time period is ten ten units. The clock is generating up to hundred time units below up to hundred. That means ninety five, and the number of clock cycles are ten. Number of clock cycles are ten. If you want to see in a waveform, in for in the form of waveform, then we can use some uh, dollar dump file. Just we have to dump the file here. Dump dot vcd. Dump pass. I'm taking zero here. We can take one. There is a difference, and we have to select the option. Then we'll see the simulation waveform here. Uh, the number of clock cycles are ten, zero to a. And the time period of every clock cycle is ten, ten time period, ten time units. And this is how we can generate the clock using always block. Next, second one, generation of clock using repeat. Generation of clock using repeat. Here I'm not taking any uh, number of clocks to check number of clocks. I'm not taking. Just I'm taking how to uh, generate the clock. So initial begin. I'm initializing clock is equal to zero. We can initialize with one. Ever wish and repeat of ten times. I want to repeat the clock ten times with a delay five time units. I want to display the clock. And dollar time uh, to display the time. Simulation time. I'm considering the system task dollar time, and here there is no need to take any uh, finish because automatically it will terminate the loop whenever the repeat, whatever the value we are considering in repeat, after reaching that value, it automatically terminate the execution. So if you want to check the waveform, if you want to see any waveform. Then we have to write dollar dump file. And dump variables. And no. 
नीचे सो हियर वी कैन ऑब्जर्व द वे फॉर्म यूजिंग रिपीट लॉक हियर वी आर रिपीटिंग टेन नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स Each clock period is ten time units. Here, clock period is five time units, and here half duration t by two. If we take, if we consider the total clock period as t, here t is equal to ten. T by two is equal to five. Like that, we can consider the clock period. And here we are generating up to ten clock pulses. Here we can see clearly by using the repeat, we are generating ten times. Clock is equal to not clock is equal to ten times. That means five full cycles. We will get five full cycles here at fifty time. After repeating ten time unit, ten time clock cycles, it will automatically terminates. No need to use any dollar finish or dollar stop to finish to terminate the execution. this is how we can uh, generate the clock using repeat like that we can generate the clock using forever in place of repeat we can directly take the forever forever uh, forever if uh, if it will repeat the clock not only clock whatever inputs we are considering the loop will not terminate until we uh, we will uh, until we terminate the execution by using the dollar finish or dollar stop so externally we have to use dollar finish at 50 time delay i am stopping the i am terminating the execution here see here at 50 time units the terminated uh, the execution automatically terminates 10 20 30 40 50 at 50 time units the execution automatically terminates Here we can see the clock how it is generating. Initially it is zero again uh, the not clock that means complement of clock. If we fin if we want to finish at hundred time units we can take the delay more. Then it will uh, the execution will be terminated at hundred time units. See observe here here the execution is terminating at hundred time units. this is how we can generate the clock in verilog hdl these are the different styles of generation of clock in verilog hdl thank you